Hello, my name is Jackie Lawrence and I am a independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Global SU Vlog Hop. This is where a group of global Stampin' Up! demonstrators have got together to um, record some videos and then we link to each other's um, channel um, in the description below. Today is all about techniques, so let me put you down onto the desk and I can show you what we're going to be making today. So this is the card that I'm going to be making and this is called a quilted embossing folder technique and it's where you lay down the um, your images or um, squares of paper and you embed it within the um, paper or card by running it through an embossing folder okay so I've made two so um, you can see the different colorways okay so this set is using the tidings and trimming set and this is a bundle in the um, annual catalog I'm going to be using the stocking and the wishing you a joyful Christmas and happy new year and I'm also going to be using the um, fabulous dies that come with it as well um, I'm going to be using the stocking and the and the star but I have actually already die cut all my um, elements before time because my um, machine does make the table rock which you'll be able to see when I do the um, when I do the the embossing folder okay right so let's get started so as I say I've already done some die cutting and I'll just bring over my little bits over here so you can see so I've cut three patterned stockings out of the lovely designer series paper tidings of Christmas and then I cut the top bit of the stocking out of evening evergreen basic white and Sahara sand and then I've also die cut the two little stars um, from the um, the gold foil so I'm just going to mount my my toppers now if I can remember which colorway I was thinking of going so just using some Tombow and just I think that goes up the other way there you go so just putting those on so this is just giving a little bit of um, of a, a definition for the stocking but you could also do this um, using your stamped Im images as well so I just need to just take a sliver off there and this technique is absolutely brilliant for using up all your little scraps as well that upside down again <laughs> right put that on okay so there's our stockings then I've got some designer series paper so um, let's move that down a bit and then I can put the card there then you can see what I'm trying to create so we're just going to decide which way we would like our stockings to go you can have them just in a line like so or as I've done before just having them slightly joining each other so I think I might do it like that oops so just put a little bit of Tombow on the back and then laying these down. Now you um, 
You do have some wiggle room with your glue. So you can manipulate the stockings how you want. Okay, and then just fit in the stars. I'm just going to put that on the end. Now I'm not quite sure where my other star went. Right, just put another dab of glue on the end there, and then that can just go like so okay so then grabbing the tasteful textiles embossing folder um, I'm going to put this in in the folder like so Then carefully bringing over the cut and emboss machine. I'm going to put my folder down there and then grabbing my number four plate. I'm just going to run that through, trying not to jig the table too much. And then whilst I've got the machine to hand, um, I've got a matte layer of Sahara sand and that measures 14.4 by 10 centimetres and that is four by five and a quarter inches. So again, just running that through. Like so. And then I can put that away. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the texture on there. Okay, and then on this one, as you can see, um, these elements have pushed right into the um, into the designer series paper, and that gives um, a like. A, a quilt you know the is it a plique um, with quilting um, but it gives it that sort of effect then I'm bringing in my base card and this is cherry cobbler um, and I'm going to mat and layer my card so just a little bit of Tombow and then that can go on there and just have a small border all the way round. The other piece of card that I've got um, is basic white and that's going to mat on like that. And that is 12.5 by 8 centimetres by and um, in the US that would be three by one eighths by four and three eighths. Okay, the designer series paper, um, I don't think I said that, that was 12 by seven and a half centimeters, uh, you know, like 7.5 centimeters, and that's three and five sixteenths by four and nine sixteenths. So that's for the designer series paper. Now, normally I would gut this. I would be um, cutting something out of, of there not to waste, but um, I haven't got anything to hand at the moment. So uh, I'm just going to layer that up. So again, you're just sort of having it. So you've got little lay um, borders all the way around. So. 
So that's our card there. So bringing in a piece of basic white. I've got my ink on my stamp and then I'm just going to line that up and stamp that straight. And then I'm going to cut this out um, with my paper trimmer. Then I'm going to glue that to my gold foil and then I'm just going to put that to one side for it to dry and then I'll come back again and just cut that as well. So I'll leave that to dry. So whilst we're leaving that to dry, um, I'm going to do the insert. So if I bring this one here, I can show you. So all I've done is, is I've just um, stamped a stocking. And I'm going to stamp this in Evening Evergreen. then this can be glued inside your card. Like so. Then we can go back to the gold foil and as I say again just cutting it so that you've got a slight border all the way round. And then that can be stuck on with dimensionals. So just grabbing my favourite tool, take a pick. I'm going to use these big ones. And then bring the backings off just with the um, with the pointy tool. And then lastly, we just need some rhinestones. So I'm using my take a pick tool with the putty end. And I'm going to put a small one in each, on each of the, um, the stars. And then a larger one can go in the middle of that that stocking and that's your card finished so you can use all sorts of things with this technique you can do squares um, stamped images all sorts but it's just lovely and again different um, embossing folders will give you different um, um, looks as well so um, there's a set of the same card but in different colour ways so I hope you like the card that I've made today 
Um, if you haven't already done so, then please do subscribe and hit that bell and you'll be notified of any new videos that I upload. And, and of course, please do leave some feedback. And this goes for all the girls that are taking part in the hop today. Um, please do like and subscribe, etc. All that's left for me to say is enjoy the hop. Don't forget to find the next person's um, link, video link in my description. And I look forward to crafting with you again soon. So take care and craft with you later. Bye.